With a view to the forthcoming Olympic Games in London 2012, its organizers have released the official video game version for tablets and smartphones. London 2012, it's a free application that allows us to compete in some of the most famous trials of the Olympic event. In the beginning, we can choose between training a bit for the tests we will compete, taking part in individual disciplines or getting involved directly in the Olympic meters. Challenge, where we'll be dispute each of the trials trying to get the best position or making a place on the winner's podium. There are a total of nine tests available, including the 100 meters race, swimming or high jump, amongst others. At the beginning of each test, or in specific moments, a pop-up displays controls we have to use to run, jump or stroke. Movements aren't complex at all, so we'll be fairly intuitive to perform them without having to look the half balloons. When we win tests, we receive a few coins in return that will allow us to restore stamina points or to buy objects to give our athletes a more personal style. There is also a paid version that removes advertising and where we will receive higher returns for our success. London 2012 graphics strongly reminds to Nintendo's Wii Sports. Scenarios are very detailed and 3D engine runs smoothly and accurately. Movements are somewhat forced, but in tune with the carefree style of the rest of the game. The character editing tool will allow us to set our athlete according to our preferences, choosing his name and nationality also. The ease of use added to the wide audience's profile makes it a pretty easy game that we will pass soon. Perhaps future updates will add more trials to the ones which are already available, but it is still unknown if that will happen. Limitations of the format in which it's based make London 2012 a not too original game but quite faithful to its gender. It's entertaining for a while and we will not get bored. So Montez wouldn't be bad either, although that will have to wait. Moreover, it is worth the download.